going on legion as right here like always you voted for it i think and here it is uh the actual straw poll doesn't like exist anymore i didn't like sign in to do that so i don't think my straw polls have that longevity but the last time i checked i believe this was the one that was most voted so i thought i'd do it now it's actually late at night it's pro it's day of if you're watching this now it is 10 what's the date today i actually don't know hmm Ah, it's the 9th. So this is uh, Thursday. This is Thursday. So if you're watching it this night, cool, awesome. If you're not, well, it just came out yesterday or the day before. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, and I didn't put anything out today. I've actually, this is like like the day I take off from all things internet. And I had nothing to film, or, or I had, more specifically, I had nothing recorded. So now it's late, late, late at night, and here we are recording this one video that I'm going to upload tonight. And we got some more stuff. We're going to be doing some of the Super Bowl clips. Uh, I'm sure most this week coming up, this weekend, and this following week is going to be mostly until Thursday or so. going to be all the Super Bowl clips of things that we're checking out. I haven't seen any of it, so I'm excited for that. But with that, let's just get into it. Check it out. See what it's all about. This is 21 Pilots. Because it is really, really late at night, 10 o'clock, but I've been up since, you know, ball sack earliness. The butt crack of dawn, some may say. There's no lyrics. There's nothing here. It's just, let's just check it out. Let's see how great their performance is. And the next, normally I wouldn't even do another 21 Pilots as soon. So the one I was really going to do another month or so from now was going to be the one I put the lyrics and stuff over or down here. But we're not going to do that today. I'm just, can you see the bags? I It's just way too fucking tired. I just want to check out, and I, I heard of the first like three seconds of this video. It sounded really good. So I'm actually just wanting to enjoy some good songs. Or one, at least. So let's just get into it, check it out again. And uh, we'll just, you know, we'll just wait for it even start at two minutes. Let's go. That piano, man. What up, Josh? How's it going, bro? Could be high energy today? I don't think so. Maybe. That'd be cool. Hello. We Hi. haven't talked in quite some time. <laughs> I know. I haven't been the best. We can hear, we can understand them. Sun's low, I'm traveling in the desert of my mind. What? And I haven't found a drop of life. I haven't found a drop. It's very calm, man. You. The lyrics are what? I haven't found a drop. It's one of the songs that the lyrics you gotta listen to, man. It's not just a out of control song. A drop. Of water. Yeah. <laughs> I was say, water is like symbolic for a lot of things. Life. You know, there you go. So good, <laughs> of course. Also, part of it's watching them play. That's also the fun part. <laughs> 
almost sounds like he's like the way he's talking it kind of reminds like he's doing an impression almost like it doesn't sound like him maybe this is just a more clear version of of him singing that I've never heard before oh, Josh has a button up shirt with a collar wow. alright don't eat my soul please Jesus So now it sounds like him. I'm liking the song so so far. I would be something I would listen to normally, I think. I think we'll do something at the end of this that I, I think I've done it before. I've done it in some videos, but uh, I'll do it at the end of this one. <laughs> he looks so awkward. Like, yeah, I just did that. I had a... At least he doesn't look like Angus Young when he's freaking playing. Like, holy crap, can you imagine? All right. So, I think normally, because I don't usually do this, I'm going to do it real quick. Maybe we'll, we'll get to it. Um, hold on, let's see if I can do it. Uh, I just fat-fingered. Did I really spell that wrong? Jesus. Um, buh, buh, buh. let's just go really quick and check out some of the lyrics right here right now uh, <coughs> I don't usually reread these things because I don't think it's I like to go into things like with a dry run um, so it starts out with hello we haven't talked in a while I know I haven't been the best of sons it's plural brothers sons in the sky sun provides life to the earth who knows what that can actually mean I'm sure the, he's done an interview and some of you have Saw it and will tell me in the comments down below. Hello, I've been traveling in the desert of my mind. I didn't hear the mind part when he was singing. And I found a drop of life. So, the, I mean, there's all kinds of ways to take that. The desert of your mind means your mind could be barren or, you know, a wasteland. A devoid of life. Devoid of thought or imagination. Maybe a devoid... Um, the desert of my mind, haven't found a drop of life. You know, that could be writer's block. That could just be, or, or something more em emotional, you know. But that's just my first interpretations. We're just doing first interpretations. I'm not trying to figure out what it actually means. I'm just reading the lyrics for the first time, and I'm, my first thoughts of when I hear the lyrics. I haven't found a drop of life. I haven't found a drop of you. I haven't found a drop. I haven't found a drop of water. So the drop of you, I don't really have any thoughts of what that could be. Um, it could be the fans. It could be the external influences he gets from creative. If we're going to go from creative writing or writer's block or, or being kind of stagnant in life in general, desert of my mind, we could have um, a drop of you. It could be his wife. It could be his friends I haven't had. Or, or it could be his other self, the, the part, uh, the, the, the reasoning part of your mind. You know, Maybe it's another suicide or, or self-harm uh, melody kind of pair uh, uh what do you call it i can't think of what the word is but like a meaning for it you know so i haven't found a drop of life it means maybe he just hasn't found a reason so when it hasn't found a, a drop of you it means i haven't maybe found a drop of uh that part of your mind that makes you want to stay alive um there's some more lyrics here god there's just a lot of them I don't think we'll go through all of them. Maybe I'll just kind of skim through. I don't know. Maybe we'll just pick segments that look... Uh, um, step... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Uh, we tried. We tried reading Reddit. Okay, we're good. Later, bye. Okay, now we're back. Uh, I tried desperately to run through the sand as I hold the water in the palm of my hand. That's the part I did hurt. Because 
because <clears throat> it's all that I have. And sometimes when people write, for me, I don't know, does this ever happen to you guys? You read something that somebody's written, and you would read it a certain way or sing it a certain way yourself, but the way they do things, and maybe because this isn't like the first draft, I'm sure. I'm sure he doesn't even think this way. I don't mean like what the meaning's behind, but he. I'm sure that any, I'm sure every writer writes something down the way they normally think, and then they go back and they edit it. For me, when I have a certain way of thinking or reading, and somebody is really through, uh, throwing me a curveball of per- pronounce or have a sentence a certain way, it really throws me off. So, so like I said, uh, holding the water in the palm of my hand because. It's all that I have, and it's all that I need. And the waves of the water mean nothing to me, but I try my best, and I try that I can do. Hold tightly onto you. What's left in my hand, but no matter how, <clears throat> how, wait, no matter how, how tight, tightly, see that double how threw me off. Should be a period, I think. No matter how, how tightly I will strain, the sand will slow me down. This is a lot of this I, I kind of heard when I was listening. <laughs> And the water will drain. I'm just being dramatic, in fact. So when we go kind of back to the tops and the uh, as I hold the water in the palm of my hand, because it's all that I have and it's all that I need. And the waves of the water mean nothing to me. It's like my first thoughts about that would be, well, water, like I said, <clears throat> like I was saying, water is the most important thing to a human being. Like physically, and well, it should be kind of, you know, should be drinking water every day at least. Um, and he's holding it in the palm of his hand, but then it skips to the part with the waves of the water mean nothing to me. If water is life, and it's and the waves of water uh, signify maybe the ups and downs in the world that you as an individual have to um, overcome, or maybe it's a good thing that happens to you. Uh, maybe he's just saying that what the world the because a wave is i would think is a negative thing in the world because a wave is actually toppling down on you so he could be sitting there saying i'm holding you know water in my hand i'm holding life i'm holding whatever um you know if he had a kid or something that would be one thing uh it could be it, holding the water in the palm of his hand i i think that any ideas that i'm having would be too grandiose he doesn't think of himself as this big person that's better than bigger than life thing. So holding life in his hand wouldn't really make sense, I don't think. But uh, the waves of the water mean nothing to me. Makes me think like the problems of life hitting him uh, don't bother him, or he's not letting it get to him because you know I think for people that have any kind of issues in life. Uh, currents, water, all that stuff is a good kind of. Um, I still can't think of the word. Is a good like representation of what you as an individual have to go through in life, because the currents they they come they go they shift, it's always in flux and that's a true statement. Then a wave crashing down on you can uh, have you ever anybody ever been to the ocean? Hello, uh, I've had a wave crash on me. It fucking sucks, dude. It hurts. It's not fun. It's not something I'm like yeah let's do it again. No, maybe if you're surfing one thing, not so far off the beach and. That's not cool, man. It's that it's that weird feeling you get in your nose, kind of like when you go to like a water park and the water goes up your nose a certain way, but the chlorine makes you get that weird. F- yeah, but except it's salt water and it's just not pleasant. Um, I'm only at it again uh, when I heard this part. When I'm only at it again as an addict with a pen, it makes me think he's talking about his career, him writing songs. He's he's at it again. Uh, I'm only at it again as an addict. He can't stop writing. He can't stop taking what's in here and putting it to paper. It's my first thought. Um, who's addicted to the wine as it blows me back and forth? Huh. Mindless, spineless, and pretend. Of course I'll be here again. See you tomorrow, but it's the end of day, end of my ways, as a walking... Um, Daniel? Am I reading that right? Um, I don't really have a lot of thought for the addicted to the to the wind. I think I read that as wine. I think I misread that really quick. Addicted to the wind as it blows me back and forth. I, that's, I think that might be something more personal for him. A, a thought that he had. An experience in life that made him write that lyric. Something I can't come up with or, or maybe understand my personal is I, I like the wind 
I like the way it's one of my favorite things I think about a weather. Uh, I like rain. I like gloomy skies, and I like it to be windy. If it's a dry wind, hey, cool. That's just this is this is me for me. Him, I can't really put a thought to uh, addicted to the wind as it blows me back and forth. Maybe you don't know. Maybe that he's a, the wind is something. He says back and forth. Maybe the wind is something that is. Um, if we're going straight by the with what the negative would be the trials of life, which is kind of the the way I'm doing things right now, the wind is you know something that moves him. It's a force of nature, something he can't control, and so and that's very much what happens in everyone's life is that there's something that pushes and pulls you in all these different directions that is unavoidable. Maybe that's what it is. Um, mindless, spineless, and pretend. I think those words are just. Those words, they have their own meanings to them. I think we can all kind of mindless, spineless, and pretend. It could easily be um, out of touch, scared, and phony, or fake. E those three words could easily mean those different um, verbs, I think. Uh, see you tomorrow, but it's the end of today, end of my ways. Um now, if he would have said end of days, that would have been a, I think that would have been a suicide reference. But it's end of day, end of my ways. Ways is also kind of, the end of my ways means it's the end of a life, it seems like. As a walking uh, denial, I think is what it is. Um, which means, I guess, it could be a denial for anything. The end of today, end of my ways, I'm a walking denial. Oh, man. Uh, denial is in maybe I don't know I don't know if the denial represents the part where you're denying yourself the taking your life uh, or if it's just talking about denial of maybe denial of what keeps you around um, end of day end of ways it's very interpretive um, my trial was filed as a crazy suicide head case but you specialize in dying. You hear me screaming, Father, and I'm lying here just crying. So wish me with your or wash me <clears throat> with your water. So my trial was filed as a crazy suicidal head case. That could be uh, how that could be referenced to any kid that has tried to do something like that that was misdiagnosed to something else and just put on medication and just said you know push it on their way and say. You know, go be a functioning member of society now when, you know, a, a head case. It's a head case. I think is a, a head case. The that 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 phrase is to unlegitimize what you as an individual are going through. If you're having mental illness, if you're having a mental illness problem, whether it's suicide or something like that, depression, calling someone, I th uh, um, calling someone a, a head case is to trivial trivialize what you are going through as an individual. That's not my interpretation. That's that's just, you know, watch an 80s movie and you'll figure half that out. Um, so, and I think that's just kind of where it comes up. We haven't talked in quite some time. I know I haven't been the best of sons. So that's kind of what it is. That's kind of what I interpreted, uh, got from the lyrics firsthand, first really quick. No, um... Just, just so anybody knows, I don't haven't watched anything. Anything that I've watched of Twenty One Pilots has been right here on this channel. So I haven't watched any interviews talking about specific songs. I don't listen to the songs first. I don't read the lyrics first. And honestly, it's it would be kind of fun to actually do these blind trials. Usually, I put the lyrics down right here so we can all just kind of read it. Because when I first did Twenty One Pilots, I read some of the lyrics. That way, I heard the music. I heard what they were saying during the music, and I had a kind of formulized plan on what they were kind of talking about or what they were I was kind of nervous to do uh, 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 words English I can't I can't speak them I can barely read them uh, I was kind of nervous to do 21 pilots reactions because there's such a huge fan base you know around this group and a lot of people wanted it and I've had dealings where I've done reactions to certain people I'm like that person seemed cocky and people are like you're a fat fucker you should just die and it's like Bro, I said he looked cocky in this one video. I don't think he's a cocky person. Please. So, I've seen people overreact for me saying little to nothing or making an observation in a specific video. So, when I first did 21 Pilots, I didn't want to say or do the wrong thing 
and I read the lyrics for uh, I think the few a uh, couple of them, and uh, kind of had a general within a few seconds. I read it and then I would do the reaction. I kind of had it by the end of the video a general thought of what maybe they were talking about as far as depression. But I've listened to so much of their music and I, I don't want to say that a lot of their music is really revolves around this one subject. But I think uh, this one subject is the the splinter that unleashed this 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 band. Uh, released him as an artist and, and writing stuff. Suicide, self-harm, those instances, those one things, um, which could be tethered together easily, I think is the, the building blocks of his career. So I think a lot of his music seems like it is a... If it's not directly about it, it has either some kind of simile to it. This one even had a suicide head case, but you specialize in... You know, it had the word suicide in it. It's still connected to those those thoughts that he had or is still having or whatever. So I actually like doing this better. I actually like listening to the song, going, great song, great music, golf clap, let's go. And then I like going to the... I, I think it's been fun to read through the lyrics and try to get my first impression of the specific lyrics. Because what you hear and what you read are two different things. Half the crap that they were singing... Well, I don't actually mean crap, but half the crap that they were singing or what the stuff he was verbally speaking out loud, some of it I couldn't hear. I, I couldn't make it out. Again, I don't mean crap, please. I know I'm fat. I know I should die. You don't need to tell me in the comments. Um, so some of it I couldn't make out as my own, you know, decipher. As I'm trying to react, and I, I, I was was a, a little... Oh, God damn, I can't speak. And I wasn't really doing a whole lot of reacting in that video. I was just kind of listening and grooving along. Uh, grooving, that's a word for you youngins out there that don't know what grooving is. Um... And it's hot as balls in here. Uh, but yeah, I think it's. I think this is way more fun. I honestly do. I think just listen to the song as a song. No thoughts, no blah, blah, blah. Okay, you get done, you're like, you know what? I really like that song. From what I heard, suicide, blah, blah, blah. Uh, hurt feelings, uh, cheating, uh, suicide. Yeah, okay, this is my thoughts on what I heard. What I liked about the music. What I liked about the drumming, the, the singing. And we'll maybe we'll touch on whatever I hear lyrically uh, for a moment, but to critique the actual song and the talent that they put in it as artists, that should be the first part. And then reading the lyrics and doing this stuff should be the second part, I think. Because in some of the other ones, I've just really just mashed together, going, I really liked how they were singing and you know the drama. It uh, was it was great, and you know you know they say a lot of stuff about self harm and you know people and uh huh. And it all just kind of bloms together as just these two subjects that I start talking about music over here, then suicide, and we're back to music, and there's self-harm. I think, talk about the song first, read the lyrics second, first thoughts on what I see or read. I think that's the way to go. I think that comes out the best. I had a lot of fun actually reading the lyrics and just, what's the first thing that comes to my mind? What can I connect? And, you know, I think that works out. So anyways... If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, you like the everything we do in general here, you can always like, subscribe, or share in general. Uh, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate, though. Uh, once again, my name is Azrael, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Huh, it's kind of a long one. It really is. Now I'm just kind of talking just to talk, because we're at 23.30, and I'm just like, you know, whatever. How are you guys? No, but uh, yeah, all my links down below. You can check out all my stuff. Always do live streaming if you want to check out that. Uh, I don't have like a specific 21 Pilots playlist, but there's some of their music in my playlist. And you can always come out, hang out, watch me rage at a video game or something like that. Either way, um, Twitter, Facebook, it's all down there. So if you ever have anything you want me to link, or anything you want to link to me specifically, because um, YouTube has a lot of comments and I try to get to links, you know, in general. But if there's something specific, 20, 21 Pilots has a new song coming out, tweet it or Facebook it to me. Say, hey, this is coming out like really soon. Or, hey, it came out today. Here's the link for the song. Check it out. That way I get it right away. I check my Twitter all the time. Check my Facebook eh, relatively most of the time. But if it's something important about that, go straight there. Link it to me. You want to say anything. You don't want to wait for me to get back to you like a week later, which is what seems to be happening because the comment system's so broken on YouTube. It's just shit now. I have to literally go through every video and just check the comments myself because the notification thing is just ass. So if you want to talk about anything specifically, you can go to Twitter, 
Love to see, love to hear all you guys there on Twitter as well. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being a part of the Legion. I think we're at 24, 2500. Something like that. We're on our way to 3K. That's awesome. Later.